I know that I just, I'm springing this on people, but oh my goodness, Buffy St. Marie. (laughs) Drea, are you following this with Buffy St. Marie? It's so funny you asked that. I literally, it was a family friend's birthday and I literally just heard about it. I had not. So it's on my list to look into, but we were talking about it. But I'll this give is you the not... Notes version. Yes. I'll give you the, the brother... Notes okay. version. Yeah. Okay. So for those of you who haven't seen this, I am going to do something I never do, but I have to do it. CBC did a good job on a story. Okay. <laughs> Go, go to the fifth, go to the, you know what? It's still not worth the $1.6 billion a year that they get to do one good story a year. But I also like when political, uh, my political adversaries are just like eating themselves alive. I'm like, okay, Mm -hmm. I'll just lean up against the wall and watch it happen. So Buffy St. Marie, Canadian icon. Wouldn't you know it? Probably not even Canadian at the end of the day. Why? (laughs) I, so she's got the Order of Canada, like the highest order of yeah. the land that you can give a Canadian. She's Such not Canadian. Mm. My friend Lise calls her Bluffy St. Marie. Bluffy, <laughs> I love that. That's good. Bluffy St. Marie. Buffy St. Marie is uh, an Italian-American malingerer from outside um. of Boston known as Beverly Santa Maria. Um And everything that we know about her upbringing is a lie. So, and these are stories that she has repeatedly told on video, on audio, in writing, in at least two um, authorized autobiographies. She was born in the town of Wakefield, Massachusetts, um, as I think it was the 48th baby that year. Um, and how do I know that? Because CBC went to Wakefield oh, and wow. got her birth certificate. Good on that. She has repeatedly said, I never had a birth certificate. I don't know where I'm from. Oh, I was gosh. given up for, a, wow. I was born on the Saskatchewan Piapot Reserve. I was given up for adoption. Um, I may have been born out of wedlock. I was given up for adoption. I was adopted into this white family outside of Boston. And, oh, and my adoptive mother was Micmac. Mm-hmm. She's not, they are, they actually. The adopted mother's their, not? No, there's, oh she's not gosh. adopted at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on? And didn't the brother out she, her or something? He tried. This speaks to, and uh, this is my personal opinion here, how evil Buffy St. Maria is. Sorry, Beverly Santa Maria. They changed their name from, they're so Italian that they changed their name from Santa Uh, Maria because it was a little too ethnic to St. Marie. Okay, so uh, she's identified as white on her birth certificate. By the way, she tried to say that there was no record of her birth on the Piapot Reserve because either there was a fire, she said, or there were just no records. No, if you were born on reserve, and uh, she actually said, I was born in the Craven Hospital. The Saskatchewan government, by the way, real heroes in this story. Because the Saskatchewan government's like, yeah, there was no hospital in Craven there. Um, There was no, uh, during those years, there was no incidents of destruction of uh, any sort of records happening during that period. Fire, flood, nothing. We have all those records. We have all the adoption records. She does not appear. Um, They just like completely debunked all of this. Um, wow. her family, her sis, her niece, Heidi, by the way, also a hero in this story because her father tried desperately to get Buffy to stop lying. He wrote, right. uh, Oh, by the way, if you want to see something real weird, watch Buffy's first appearance on Sesame street with those little kids. Oh, I gotta go where back. The kids are like, and- are you a fairy tale Indian or a real Indian? And she's like, I'm a real Indian. And then she does something that Dr. Phil calls duper's delight where she smirks at the end of her lie. Um, oh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, oh, this, it, there it is. Watch. Oh, you guys are so good. Producer team. Okay. This, like, I always thought Buffy St. Marie, her foundation never matched her face. And I was like, this well, woman now you is know. very wealthy. 
And now I know. I was like, her <laughs> foundation doesn't match her arms. And like, yeah, your face is never quite the same color as your arms. Right. But she had this like sallow sort of weird um, funeral home makeup on all the time. And mm -hmm. I always thought it was strange because I'm like, she's way wealthier than to have bad makeup like this. Um, but her brother was an Air Force veteran, uh, just an mm -hmm. upstanding good guy, a commercial airline pilot after that. Nothing but good to his children, from what I understand. Just an upstanding individual. And he didn't like his sister lying. So he wrote letters to like PBS and he tried to set the record straight. I even think Beverly's uh, <laughs> dad Lucky. tried to set the record straight. And um, what happened was Buffy St. Marie, Barbara, or no, Beverly Santa Maria wrote and threatened <laughs> her brother. Threatened oh, her no. brother and said, uh, uh, in a handwritten note, which matches her handwriting, and in a legal letter saying, we'll, we'll see you for defamation. And this was like a high price L.A. lawyer. Right. Um, because she was like at the height of her stardom then. Yeah. And basically said, if you, her handwritten letter, which the niece now showed CBC, said, if you go public, I will tell everybody that you're a pedophile. Oh gosh. And can you imagine? Uh, oh, yeah. And so, gosh. you know what, when I, when I see the That's lengths so that Buffy St. Marie went to, to silence her family, I hope her family's watching for me, this speaks to the value of these people that they yeah. were so good that Buffy knew they could not be bought by her wealth. She had to yeah. do something more evil to them than that. She probably wouldn't they share. Could not be, yeah. Well, she knew that these were the kind of people who could not be bought off with a house or a vacation or a car mm -hmm. or a money or a trust fund. She had to do something else more evil to destroy them. And that's what she did. And her brother went to look at, look at her makeup. Oh Beverly gosh. Santa Maria. How much money has she made off of this lie? Music. Look at it all. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then she says. I'm I glad was, the truth came out while she's alive though. Me too. Right? And then she yeah. says, uh, I don't know where I'm from. I don't know where. Well, I saw your birth certificate, Bev. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we know. Um, we know but, where you're from, though. Yeah. But then she says, it doesn't matter because I know I'm, I just know I'm Cree. And I was adopted into the Piapot First Nation by this family when I was in my 20s. Okay. But would that family have adopted you if you actually told them you were just some basic white lady from outside of yeah. Boston? Probably exactly. not. They thought that they were adopting somebody taken from them in the 60s scoop. This is another atrocity. She oh, said God. she was a 60s scoop survivor. So what? She They scooped her in her 20s? Like, That's Beverly, weird. you were born in the 40s. The 60s scoop did not happen until the late 50s into the 60s. Oh, so she would have to have been 60s scooped in her 20s. They Get thought the this back. family thought they they thought that they were readopting somebody snatched from their community and yeah. not some grifting white lady from outside of Boston who attached herself to the uh American Indian movement because it was popular sort of coincided with the hippie stuff that was happening at the time. And so that's what she did. Uh, she just played everybody. Uh, she played everybody. She's on a stamp. Oh. She's on a stamp. She has the Order of Canada. Oh my <sighs> lord! Get this. Oh she helped God. develop Cree language programs what? that are used in school. She doesn't even speak Cree. I think oh. the only Cree I've ever heard Look the woman her. speak. Look at her and just the mockery. Like <gasps> all of this is a costume. So She's so still bad. denying it. You know what I want to see? She's so nowadays still denying you can it. identify. You know what? Yeah, Who you knows? know what? I want a piece of her hair still attached to a feather for all I care. And let's go a swab with Heidi Santa Maria, the hero mm -hmm. of this story, who's finally mm -hmm. sticking up for her dad. Yeah. She met the we'll queen. See what's going like on. this is just like crazy. Look at this. You know what? Beverly Santa Maria. That guy in the middle knows. Wanna... Look, the guy in the middle, he knows what's up. <laughs> he knows. 
He's like, who's this lady in this costume? Um, she's like earn her village person costume got her all the way onto a stamp in Canada hosting CBC um oh, specials God. because she's Canadian she's not she's born in the United States and she like she's on a stamp like it's just it's so outrageous but Buffy you want to put this to bed you want to prove me wrong swab mouth swab you and Heidi and We'll see. We'll see. Heidi looks like you, Buffy. She just has better foundation neck match than you do. Anyway. Yep. Oh, man. This Crazy, poor woman. Man. I'm not surprised. Imagine Nothing surprises being her me real anymore. family. Imagine being her real family in this your This whole life. time, for years. They've known that. Well, they knew Don't And they've tangle. been trying they to know- tell people, too. Yeah, Jeez. but also, Buffy St. Marie is... Um, Apparently quite oh. vindictive and evil. So yeah. who knows? Anyways, okay, thank you for um, going with me on that chat. rant. <laughs> oh, no. That's good. I'm glad you brought it up because I didn't know much about it. So, Hey, I got to tell you, I'm going on a cruise with a whole bunch of rebels. We're sailing out of Fort Lauderdale on March 23rd. 2024 that's not so far away less than six months away a gorgeous trip around the caribbean paul and america line boy is that luxurious and we're gonna bring some of our favorite rebel talent sheila gun reed david menzies and can you believe it we're actually bringing tamara leach with us and you are invited that's rebelnewscruise.com